Hey everyone, welcome to a Goody Reader tutorial video. Today I'm going to teach you how to load ebooks on the brand new Barnes & Noble Nook Lowlight 3. The first one is Adobe Digital Editions. Uh, this book, you know, obviously this is a way that you could copy ebooks to your Nook via the library. So when you download uh, ePubs from Overdrive, uh, 3M, Baker & Taylor, uh, a ton of other ones, they'll allow you to Download them to your device, uh, to your local computer uh, via the website, and then you could use Adobe Digital Editions to copy them to your Nook. So when your Nook is plugged in via USB to your computer, on the Nook when you wake it up, it'll say, "Do you want to, you know, to transfer data to your Nook via the computer?" So on the Nook, you have to click OK. You also need to download Digital Editions. Now I like Adobe Digital Editions 2.0. There's a there's a like a newer one sort of available, but I find 2.0 is bug free and it tends to work easily. Uh, the first thing you have to do is authorize your computer and log in. Now if you borrow ebooks from the library, your login and password uh, is your library card. So you have to bear that in mind. Now in order to add books, let's just say that I borrowed On the Island from Overdrive. Now it's here. Now simply all I have to do is once I have it here is click and then drag it to my Nook and you can see when I drag it, it has, you know, if I drag it to any of these other directories, there's a plus sign. I can just drag it. Now it's on my Nook. And I can also use this, so if this book like expires and it's no longer available on my device, I could use it to actually like delete it as well. So return borrowed item, remove from bookshelf, remove from library. There's a lot of things that I could like do with it as well. One of the programs that I really dig is Calibre. It's a free download. Uh, the link to download it will be in the description of this video. When your Nook is plugged in, you'll see a little image of your Nook here. So you'll know it's working when you do that. Now it's as simple as clicking add book and then clicking on this. So the last boyfriend by Nora Roberts, you can see here that the format is in Mobi. And as you know, uh, the Nook cannot support Mobi. Luckily, Calibre will come to your rescue uh, to be able to convert this to Mobi. So I right click on the book, go to convert books, and then convert books individually. And now the input format is Mobi, and the output format is EPUB. Now there's a lot of different output formats that I could do, but I'm just going to do EPUB because Nook has a really good way of reading it because you can edit the line spacing, the margin, the font types, font size, etc. I'm just going to click OK. And you can see here under jobs that it's working. It's converting it, it's doing all the stuff here, and it's finished. Now, one of the other great things about Calibre is being able to edit metadata. So right click, and I'm gonna click at the top here, metadata, and edit metadata individually. Now the good thing about metadata is in a lot of cases you might download books from the internet and it may be missing a cover art or it may have the wrong cover art. Uh, the title and the author name might be like in the same thing and then the author name might be the book uploader's name. Uh, it even might be spelled right so Nora Roberts by Michael. Now you can see that the title and this are in green. Let's just see what happens if I click here. So I'm basically fetching cover art and I can click OK. So you can see that both of the covers are like the same. I'm going to click OK. Now you see that the author's name is changed back to Nora Roberts. 
Uh, the book description has also changed. ISBN number and everything is the same, but the tags, like, you know, the Google tags, the ISBN from Google, and all that type of stuff is here. Publisher name. And once you like everything here, you can click OK. And once you, you know, are happy with the way that everything is looking here, you can click send a device and then send a device's main memory. It's another job. It's going to just take a second or two based on the speed of your computer or laptop. Now, if I click here, that's great. One of the other reasons why I like metadata is because, as you know, if you're like a voracious reader, you'll download books from Project Gutenberg, you'll download them from the deep recesses of the internet, and the book cover art in a lot of cases is missing. And when you're browsing your library, some of your ebooks will have cover art, the other uh, you know, ebooks won't have cover art. So, a great way to manage your device. Now, I was mentioning one of the most common ways that people transfer data to and fro is via good old Windows Explorer. Now, it's, you know, where is everything? Well, you can copy everything to, like, Nook, and then My Files, and Books Directory, and you could just, like, copy books to here. So I can go grab an EPUB, David Bellicelli's The Innocent and just paste it here. And then when I go to the Nook and then go to my files in the library, all these books will like appear. So in this video, just to recap, I showed you how to copy eBooks using Adobe Digital Editions for books that you've purchased from other retailers or the library. We showed you how to use Caliber, and not only just copy books to Caliber, but change the cover art, change the ebook formats from one format to another, and then copy it to your device, and then also how to manage your e-reader as well. And then giving you a little navigation tips on uh, Windows Explorer. So you don't really want to mess around with any of these directories because you could, you could brick your device. So don't like delete this don't go in here and delete that you know that's why I, I kind of don't suggest that you muck around with this because you could really uh, ruin your device you have any questions comments concerns drop a comment below forgetting video.com is Michael and everybody take care